Good morning, Kevin. Hi, How are you? How are you today? How's things in California? You know, in Los Angeles County, California, it is cold and rainy today. Define cold and rainy for me, then I'll tell you what it's like <laughs> in Massachusetts. <laughs> oh, I, 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 you know, it's like about 50 and raining. No, it's real cold. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's below 20 here, but I, I'm not going to complain because my understanding is all those nice people in the Midwest are really getting it socked to them. So we, we better keep the cold temperatures to ourselves because they're really enduring some real cold out there, like below zero and all types of crazy temperatures. You know, um, you know, I saw that on the news of uh, people basically freezing to death when they walk outside. That's awful. Well, I've been, you know, keeping them in my prayers. But, Kevin, what I want you to do first... You're a, good, you're a good man. Thank you, thank you. What I want you to do first is tell our listeners who you are, what you do, and how you do it. And then I'm going to ask you some questions. Hi, you, Guy. Sounds terrific. My first name is Kevin. My middle name is Patrick. Everybody calls me Kevin Patrick, or if they're really mad at me, Kevin Patrick. Anyways, my last name is Seaver, S-E-A-V-E-R. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I've been practicing since 1991, successfully fighting the Department of Human Families, which is Child Protective Services in Massachusetts. Um, with that said, um, it's been a really, as the Grateful Dead say, a strange long ride. And uh, it's been a lot of fun with some ups and downs, and some insides and outs, and uh, a lot of learning. Uh, some mistakes. Sometimes I bumble, bumble, stumble. But all in all, it's been it's, it's been a very, very, uh, uh, very worthwhile experience. Good, good. You know, for those people that are in your area or on the East Coast that want to get in touch with you, tell us what your um, website and email address and your telephone number. You're kind. Thanks, Vince. Well, I'm at eight. W H I T T I E R Place P L A C E. I'm in Suite 1A. That's in Boston, Mass. 02114. My phone number is 617-263-2633. And I bet to do something that's a little bit different than most lawyers. I give them my personal cell phone to call me after hours, and I welcome calls all the time from clients because child protective services doesn't work. And nine to five, although some of them do, but they've got emergency numbers or what have you. So when people are in trouble, I try to serve them. My personal cell phone is 617-749-8400. My website is Seaver, S-E-A-V-E-R, D-C-F, lawyer.com. That's Seaver, D-C-F, lawyer.com. You know, I belong to a bunch of different groups. Um, you know, quite a few, quite frankly, all over the country. Very good. Every night is a different post. And if I have something that I think would help a individual or person, uh, whether it's an inspirational uh, uh, a quote or a statement, I try to give that. Or if I think something just doesn't sound right, I try to explain why or a better way to process or proceed. Because let's be let, let's be real about this: is that you know a social worker is a social worker is a social worker, whether it's in California or Boston, they do the same things pretty much. They have made different rules and procedures and policies and statutes to follow, but in the long run, at the end of the day, they're all human beings. And as we know, human beings make mistakes. They have their models. They have blemishes, flaws, and imperfections. I got my hand raised, like all the rest of us out there. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Kevin, do you do any civil rights cases against social workers in uh, your area? Oh, you just struck a chord. You just struck a chord, Vincent. I'm looking to do two things in the year 2019. Uh, three of them, and, and, and the third one is personal. I want to get down to 185 pounds, and I'm, I'm working on that, and that's a daily struggle I'm sure many of us have with our weight. But the second thing I want to do is I want to write a book about how to successfully fight DCF. And I love when you mention your book, Vince, and I want you to say that again so everyone hears your book when I'm done with this because I, I, I want to read it, and I'm looking forward to reading it. And the third thing I want to do is I want to take DCF when they're wrong. And many times they are absolutely correct in what they do. But at times they are wrong. And again, they're mere mortals, human beings. And they have flaws, blemishes, and imperfections. I want to see DCF in 2019 in federal court because I've got some cases where they really just 
not done the right thing, but if they've done harm to families. And I look at children and representation of children and therefore their families, like the hypocritical oath that doctors take. In quotations, do no harm, and in quotations. And I see DCF who's supposed to protect families, and therefore their children do harm at times. And I think it's egregious uh, when they violate and more importantly, break intentionally the law. Well, those are good goals. Um, they sound like my goals for 2019. You know, on many of my cases, my clients run out of funds, and you continue to represent them. That, too, in and of itself is pro bono. And I've done that, and I'm sure you have many, many, many times. Um, the issue becomes the following, um, and I know the reason you have such a tremendous uh, website, and you wrote the book was to try to help people. Unfortunately, this past week, I've had people that refuse to help themselves. And if they refuse to help themselves, you can't help them. If they're unwilling to sit down, put down the click and get off the couch and take action to read your website and read your book and do the right thing so they're a, a self-educated consumer that can best help themselves and make really good judicious decisions, you can't help them, Vincent. And I found that to be true this past week with a couple of clients who just were unwilling to do and put the effort in, and they just want to call you and ask questions when they are asking questions that are simply uh, answered on the website if they took the time to do diligence to do the elbow grease the hard work. You know, it's funny that you mention that. I've never, I've never said that out loud, but I think that a lot. You know, people will ask me questions, and I will say, well, did you see my video? Yeah, but I didn't watch it. And that was always, you know, when that happens, I'm always, you know, like scratching my head. But, you know, people are people. And you know what's crazy, too, Vincent? You know what's crazy? What? Everything you have is free. And I say to clients all the time, can you be free? And all of a sudden, there's a big pause and a silence and a hesitancy on the phone. And the answer is, Captain Obvious, you can't be free. But I, it, it just perplexes me when people... Uh, and, and, and in fairness to some of my clients, I'll ask them, do you have a learning disability? Are you dyslexic? Are you able to read the website? Because if you're not, then you go to Plan B, which is watch all the videos. You can listen, and it gives great information. That's true on your website. So, you know, much to your credit, kudos. And I think, you know, what you're doing, Vince, by helping these nice people in California with all your free materials, you know, they may not be able to afford you, although you do offer pro bono, much to your credit. I, 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 I applaud you loudly for that, because good knows there's enough people that need it. But, um, you know, you're doing something that, unfortunately, many of our colleagues in our work life do not do. And I think there should be more of it, you know, because I know you became a lawyer for a reason, and I, I, I'm just so proud of you for doing what you do. I think it's just, I mean, just I, I'm incredible. And I applaud you, because again, Many lawyers don't do what you do, the pro bono, the free videos, the free book, to educate people, and that's the right thing. You know, you know Vince, they can, they can read your website, watch your videos, read your book, and they should make up their own decision. And then they can call your office, and you'll give them a sit down where they can, you know, see the real deal. And, you know, your experience, your years doing this, and your results speak for themselves. Uh, as well as the testimonials and the doors which you get from so many people in the public. So to me, you know, I, I always tell my clients, I don't want to sell you, I want you to buy. And I want it to be, in quotations, a win-win. They win, I win. And if it's not a win-win, I don't want their case. And I tell clients all the time, you know, I had a client come in with a wheelbarrow full of cash, and he wanted to put it on my desk, and I want to retain it. I said, but, I, I, you know, I want to get a case first. Thank you.